Good day everyone, today we will teach you everything that you need to know about the wireless sub window, how you can set it up and how you can use it. Let us go ahead and start. So what we have here is the 12 volts 5 amps power adapter and then next is we also have a node MCU so as you can see here this is the one that will connect to the main sub vendor and then we also have here the wireless sub vendor custom board and after this we also have lastly our universal coin slot with the anti-hooking system so these four are part of the DIY kit for the wireless sub vendor that you can find on our shop. The link will be in the description. So let us go ahead and start. So first you need to connect the custom board to the coin slot as you can see here. There is a label on the custom board that says coin slot with pin set, so that is what you will be connecting to the coin slot. Next, we also need to prepare the Node MCU and also an adapter, the same as the Android mobile phone chargers. This is what we will be using to flash the Node MCU. For flashing purposes, we will also be needing a laptop or a PC, or we can also use an Android phone to flash the software into the Node MCU. After you have connected your Node MCU to a PC or laptop, go to the adopisoft.com website and click build guide. And then when it loads up, you will go to the lower side, scroll down, and find the wireless sub vendor guide. So here is the step-by-step -step process on how we can flash our Node MCU. We will just need to follow this. If you are using a PC or a laptop, click the Using PC option and then there will be two files that you need to download, the Pi Flasher and the firmware. We will first download the firmware, click that link and you will be routed into a Google Drive folder. Please download everything that you see on that folder. Now after that, let us download the Pi Flasher. You will be routed to a GitHub link and then click this one. It says node MCU Pi Flasher.exe. This is the software that we will use to flash the firmware into our node MCU. After downloading, let us go to our download folder and extract the firmware as you can see on the screen. Then go ahead and run the Node MCU Pi Flasher right after. But before we proceed with the Pi Flasher, we first need to identify where our Node MCU is connected so that we can properly flash the software into the Node MCU. So you need to go to your device manager and then locate for whatever COM the Node MCU is connected. So in this case, it is connected in COM3. Now going back to the Pi Flasher, since we have identified it as COM3, choose the serial port as COM3. After identifying the serial port, we will now locate the firmware. So 
the one that we have extracted earlier is what we will use so in this case choose the one that says ESP firmware buzzer that mean this is the firmware that we will be flashing to the node MCU just follow the settings that you can see on the screen and then click flash node MC and the firmware has been successfully flashed into the node MCU remove it momentarily and then insert it right after the reason for that is because that is the proper way that we can reboot the node MCU normally We will also need to access the command line of the node MCU and we will be using Putty for that. The link will be placed in the description. So choose for the serial line COM3 and speed is 96 and then just follow all of the settings that you can see on the screen. And as you can see, we are now on the command line of the node MCU. So first type help and then press Ctrl J. The Ctrl J button serves as the enter button for the node MCU. And now we can see here all of the command that we can run on the command line of the node MCU. And what you can see here on the top is an auto scan which is equals 1. This one is an auto scan meaning that whenever the node MCU reboots, it will automatically scan all of the available devices in the area and it will connect to which one is nearest to it. So there are cases that a customer complains that their wireless sub-vendor suddenly disconnects to their machine during boot up or it doesn't connect during the boot up. That is because it automatically scans during the boot up and it connects to the device that it finds first. So in order to know which device this node MCU is currently connected, type ipconfig and then control J. So as you can see, our node MCU is connected to light hotspot as of the moment. So let us try to connect this to a SSID and then we will lock it and also we will turn off auto scan so that whenever it reboots, it will automatically locate that SSID and will only connect to that SSID. So what you need to do is you need to type SSID equals the name of the access point that the node MCU will be connected. If it says invalid command, meaning that the SSID that you have typed may be wrong or maybe you have typed it slow. So try it again but do it faster this time. So as you can see we have successfully updated the SSID. Now the node MCU is connected to a Dopey soft hotspot. You can type ipconfig to confirm the updated SSID and then press Ctrl J. So as you can see, the node MCU is now connected to a Dupai soft hotspot. Now let us go ahead and type help and then press Ctrl J again. So remember what I said earlier regarding the auto scan, we will be disabling it so that the node MCU will only connect to the Adupai soft hotspot when it reboots. So just type auto underscore scan equals to and this is all in uppercase then press Ctrl J. So if the result doesn't say that auto scan is an invalid command, it means that it was executed correctly and we can now go ahead and check the connection. So IP config again and then press Ctrl J. We can see that it is connected to the Adupai soft hotspot and by pressing help and control J we can also see the other commands that we can run. So if you want to explore this, you are free to do so. And right now auto scan is valued at 2 meaning that the auto scan has been disabled since we have disabled it earlier. 
Now that we're done with this, let us close the putty and try to use our node MCU as our wireless sub the setup. We now have our node in C here and we will need to insert it into the wireless sub window custom board. But please be careful when you are inserting the node MCU and follow the labels that you can see on the custom board and what you can also see on the node MCU. Because if you insert it the other way, then either the board or the node MCU will be short circuited and you will not be able to use it anymore. So just follow these steps and also follow the labels on the custom board. Now it is time to test, so use your power adapter and connect it to the custom board. Go ahead and open the dashboard of your main vendor. After that, go to sales and then go to payment portals. If you scroll down, you should be able all of your wireless sub vendors in here. But you need to first check the open auto accept connection. So we have seen that the sub vendor is already connected to our main vendor. Now try to test if we can insert a coin or buy Wi-Fi using the sub vendor. So click Wi-Fi time and then select wireless portal. And it works. As you can see, our wireless sub window has been connected successfully to our main vendor. So if you have questions, you can comment down on this video. And the links will also be posted in the description. And that would be all for today. I hope you have learned something new. Have a good day ahead and see you next time.